Based upon the job for which you're qualified, you've been selected to attend the School of Applied Aerospace Sciences at Lackland Air Force Base, Texas. Lackland's business is people, and its mission is training. As one of the five technical training centers within the Air Training Command, Lackland provides over 70 courses of study, ranging in length from five days to 37 weeks. The Lackland campus of the School of Applied Aerospace Sciences is located here. After you've completed your out-processing at Basic Military Training School, you'll be transported to your new squadron at the School of Applied Aerospace Sciences. There, you'll be greeted by squadron staff personnel. We'll make sure you get settled in your quarters. They will be happy to answer any questions about Lackland and the surrounding area. Prior to beginning school, you will have to complete some required forms, and you will be briefed on your school, traffic safety, and other subjects that will be important to you during your stay here. Most courses here at Lackland enter classes weekly, so you may have to wait a few days before you begin training. If you do have to wait, you will be available to perform details until your class starts. Classes at Lackland normally run in two shifts. The first is from 6 a.m. until noon. The second shift is from noon until 6 p.m. A normal day usually requires six hours of classes and two hours of school-related work. There is little or no homework. One of the programs you may show an interest in early in your training is the Student Leadership Program. If you are selected for training in this program, you'll be instructed in leadership practices and through practical application, assist the school staff during your technical training. Students in this program are identified by the brightly colored braid they wear on their shoulders. The course in student leadership could be beneficial to you in the future. Students attending technical school directly from basic training will normally be under one of two departments, security police or cryptography. The largest of the two schools is the Department of Security Police, which conducts police training for all branches of the armed services. Annually, over 20,000 students are trained in security and law enforcement jobs in subjects ranging from the basic fundamentals of police work to contingency planning for the defense of an air base in a hostile environment. Most of the training you receive here at Blackland may be evaluated for college credits to the Community College of the Air Force. Your training will be conducted by competent instructors who are willing to assist you in the completing of your course successfully. My instructors, are, they treat you as an individual, and at the same time, they teach you as a team, because You've got to work as a team to accomplish anything. When my life's laying on the line, I don't want somebody that, that don't know what they're doing out there with me. Incidentally, very few people fail their courses at Lackland, but if this should happen, you're usually given a directed duty assignment. The Air Force will try and put you in a field for which you have an aptitude, but remember, the needs of the Air Force come first. Before this happens, if you're having trouble with a certain block of material, the instructors will go out of their way to help you. The Department of Cryptographic Training conducts courses in the maintenance of coding equipment for selected industrial, DOD, and other government agency personnel. It has a staff of 200. The thousands of students who graduate from the department's many courses each fill worldwide assignments in organizations responsible for providing reliable and secure communications between the Department of Defense and other government agencies. If you're wondering about living conditions on Lackland, they're really quite nice. A typical dormitory is a two-story I-type structure. Your dormitory room is similar to living conditions in an average college dorm, and it's equipped with what you need for study and comfort. Normally, there are two persons assigned to a room, and you'll be expected to maintain your living area according to established Air Force standards. If you are married and you bring your spouse to Lackland, you'll need off-base housing. The Lackland Referral Office maintains a list of suitable off-base houses and apartment complexes and will assist you with your housing needs. The Family Services Center has the necessary household items to be loaned on a temporary basis for your convenience and well-being. Lackland has adopted the suburban shopping center concept in its main exchange store located on Selfridge Boulevard. A variety of items are displayed in the general sales area, while a number of storefront shops provide services normally found in a shopping center. Also located in the center is the main cafeteria. The base exchange has smaller selections and specialty items in branch stores at various locations on the base. The commissary facility near the main exchange makes available a large selection of foods and household items in a modern supermarket type store. Wilford Hall Medical Center is the largest complete medical care facility in the Air Force. 
The Medical Center's hospital building is a familiar landmark to most West San Antonio residents. Patients from Air Force facilities all over the globe are transferred here for diagnosis and treatment by specialists. You may have a car while you're at Lackland, and if you do, strict compliance with safety rules and traffic laws is a must. Your vehicle must have a safety inspection in Texas or the state where it's registered. With the safety inspection, a valid driver's license, and proper liability insurance, you can obtain a decal from your squadron. The base also offers a wide variety of recreation facilities, which most of you probably became familiar with during basic training. Lackland also operates Camp Warhawk, a waterfront recreation facility on the Llano River near Kingsland, Texas, approximately 100 miles north of Lackland. Here you can get away from it all and enjoy the outdoors. A familiar landmark on Lackland is the History and Traditions Museum. Displayed here are exhibits of aircraft, engines, instruments, and air weapons that span the years of aviation development, from its origin to the aerospace age. Many aircraft and missiles are displayed in strategic locations throughout the base, reinforcing the theme of history and tradition. A wide variety of religious activities is offered to the Lackland community. With the largest chaplain section in the Air Force, five chapels are available for worship services to accommodate all faith groups. Outside the main gate of Lackland is San Antonio. The downtown area is only a short trip by freeway. San Antonio is one of the oldest and most charming cities in Texas. It is rich in Spanish-American history, with a history dating back to 1685. Today, the Alamo stands proudly in the heart of downtown San Antonio as the Shrine of Texas Liberty and a remembrance of the 188 men who defended the fortress more than 130 years ago. San Antonio is now one of the nation's largest cities and listed among the country's cleanest. Complementing the historical aspects of the city are some new faces. The Tower of the Americas, the Civic Center, composed of the Theater of Performing Arts, the Sports Arena, and the adjoining Exhibition Hall. Another of the scenic attractions is the Riverwalk along the banks of the San Antonio River. The walkway meanders under 23 bridges through the heart of the city. A sightseeing boat ride is recommended to get the full effect of the beauty of the river. Portions of the river are lined with sidewalk cafes, shops, and theaters. Being a distinctive and modern city, San Antonio has something for everyone and is generously endowed with parks and playgrounds. The San Antonio Zoo in Brackenridge Park, located just minutes from the downtown area, is one of the nation's largest. The zoo is an interesting place for nature lovers. With its historical landmarks, the culture and the customs, and a blending of the old and the new, San Antonio continues to be a leader in American cities. Incidentally, since most of you will be living on the base, your expenses will primarily be for entertainment and necessary personal items. It is suggested you deposit your pay in a bank account or a credit union for safekeeping. These facilities can be found on base. If you need money for traveling, it might be wise to purchase traveler's checks. It's safer and if they're lost or stolen, they can be replaced. Well, this has been a brief look at what you can expect in Technical School at Lackland and the surrounding area. If you follow the guidelines expected of you, then the training you have selected is what you're going to receive. You can't change courses now. From now on, you're airmen. Act accordingly. Don't forget that positive attitude. For with it, you will leave here with a skill that's yours for a lifetime. <laughs>